Um, there are many reasons, of course, you can learn how to use ECA, how there are a lot of uh, videos online that will kind of give you some ideas on how to use it. But using ECA how is just part, a small part of the equation. This class uh, includes not only using ECA how, but also learning how to design networks. There are uh, four stages for the whole life cycle of, of wireless, and first you have to define what the network's for, then you have to design, and yes, you can use ECA how to do the design, and you can do a hybrid approach on design, just do the predictive and also go on site and get some actual measurements. Then part of that is the deployment. You have to get the wireless deployed based on your design. And then after that comes the validation. So yes, a lot of people treat those as four disconnected pieces of information. Somebody does the sell, somebody goes and makes the design, somebody else makes the deployment, and then somebody else is called to solve problems. Coming to the class, you're gonna get pretty much hands-on experience on all of them. Well, except the deployment, you won't be mounting APs in our class, but, but the value of the class is not just knowing how to use Ekahau. A lot of people are like, oh, no, I already know how to use Ekahau. Like, okay, well, that's one thing, but how about you know, the, the other stages in the life cycle of a, of a wireless network? And it's also, we spend one whole day about talking, talking about uh, RF and talking about 802.11, which is Wi-Fi mm. or Wi-Fi or drug laws or whatever you want to call it. But that's basically the basis because how can you design a wireless network if you don't know how it works? So the class is uh, being put together in a way that covers many aspects. People pretty much walk out scared, like, wait, I thought I know how to, I knew how to do Wi-Fi, and I realized I've been not doing Wi-Fi for 10 years, I've been mounting APs for 10 years, and most of the times, you know, we were doing things wrong, because you know, we didn't know any better, and all of a sudden, you know, this class is going to put students into a different perspective, now you start thinking more and more about what questions to ask when you are meeting with a client. And it's a class that is suitable for sales engineers, for support, for guys that sometimes they can be like, yeah, I'm only in charge of design. I only use it kind of like, you actually been mounting APs? Like, no, we actually done troubleshooting. Oh no, that's the troubleshooting team. Like, no, I mean, we have to be part of the whole stages. So yeah, I recommend, it. I hope more salespeople come to take the class Mm -hmm. Because usually a salespeople just care about selling more APs. And in Wi-Fi, more APs doesn't mean more Wi-Fi. Most of the time, more APs means less Wi-Fi. Yeah. So the class is just definitely going to shake the ground of all of those involved in either selling APs, mounting APs, designing wireless networks, or troubleshooting wireless networks. So we cover all of those aspects of it.